why did the most recent elections in Alberta and Saskatchewan have a difference in voter turnout? Hi there, my name is Reed Larson. I'm a student at the University of Alberta, and welcome to my political science 421 Prairie Politics with Dr. Jared Wesley digital media product. For my research, I decided to look into voter turnout in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Alberta has the lowest on average voter turnout in provincial elections in Canada, and Saskatchewan has the second highest average voter turnout in provincial elections in Canada. In 2015, 53% of people voted in their Alberta provincial elections, and in 2011, 66% of people voted in their Saskatchewan provincial elections. This means that there was a 13% discrepancy between the provinces in elections and the fact is as I don't fully understand why that would happen and I decided I would like to know more about it. My research started at the broadest possible level to see what affects turnout in general. This was a fairly bold approach, turns out there's a lot of research on voter turnout and in fact actually a mountain of research on voter turnout throughout the years. However, in short, turnout across almost all established democratic nation, nations is on the decline and everyone is writing to find solutions. This is true in Canada, as our turnout rates have been in steady decline for quite some time, and organizations across Canada continuously attempt to find new ways to engage persons in the vote. Because there's been a lot of work to try and find out why voter turnout is on the decline in Canada, especially at the federal level, there has been a lot of aggregate research to find out what affects turnout. The ongoing consensus is that contextual research is becoming more and more important and that we really need to start focusing on the individual communities within provincial political cultures and provincial political cultures themselves to fully understand the effects of voter turnout in Canada. What aggregate research on provincial politics has shown us is that there are four main indicators and predictors to voter turnout in Canadian provinces. One is the competitiveness of the elections, two is the embeddedness of the electorate, three is interest in or alienation from politics, and four is the progressiveness of populations and the politics in the province. All while keeping in mind that context matters down to the election itself. I took these four main indicators and applied them to both Alberta and Saskatchewan respectively to try and understand why turnout rates would be what they were in the provinces. I also made sure to try and keep the conversation within rhetoric of political cultures to fully understand if there would be any overlap between Alberta and Saskatchewan in their politics themselves. In Alberta, competitiveness of elections, embeddedness of electorate, and progressiveness of politics did not play major factors in turnout in the 2015 elections. Despite being the most contested election in 44 years, turnout rates did not move substantially. Non-voting -permanent, non permanent residents did not appear to change voting patterns, and the progressive politics of the new Democratic Party did not engage more people to vote. What resoundingly plays the largest role in explaining Alberta's turnout rates is alienation from politics and continued disinterest from non-voters. Albertans continue to have a deep disconnect from politics and this problem is only growing larger with younger generations. The sentiment is found not only in 2015's election, but in the province's historic political culture. In Saskatchewan, the same levels of alienation from provincial politics do not exist, which has allowed the four indicators in the province to have positive impacts on voter turnout. There is a perceived competitiveness to Saskatchewan elections. There is a defined interest or investment in politics by Saskatchewans. The populations of Saskatchewan are more embedded in the province. And although the electorate continues to move more centrist, there is a level of progressiveness to 
political culture of Saskatchewan. So where the 13% difference in voter turnout comes from between Alberta and Saskatchewan in their most recent elections is alienation from politics in Alberta and no alienation from politics in Saskatchewan. However, this is how the provinces are dissimilar. That is to say that only one province seems to have this quantity. What it makes the two provinces similar in effects to voter turnout? Both provinces are similar in that they have a very difficult time engaging youth and new populations in their province with the vote. These are things like migrant populations or immigrant populations that normally would not vote in elections. Further, although alienation is more a problem in Alberta, the alien alienation from politics works on more of a spectrum of mistrust in government. That is to say that the further west you go in Alberta, it seems the more distrust people would feel from their governments, and the further east you go, the more people trust their governments in Saskatchewan. But continuing on this idea of a spectrum of east to west voting or regional voter turnout, the shared border between Alberta and Saskatchewan turnout rates are far more similar aside from a one outlier riding. This shows that although taking Alberta and Saskatchewan as a region together may be incorrect, we should possibly focus our context further on the individual individual communities and youth populations between both provinces. In conclusion, the reason why there is a difference in voter turnout between Alberta and Saskatchewan is because Alberta feels higher levels of alienation from its provincial politics than Saskatchewan. Second, alienation from politics is more of a spectrum than a clear-cut divide between the provinces. Lastly, I would recommend that more research is given to the contextual nature of political culture in both Alberta and Saskatchewan to really discover the reasons for lowering turnout in both provinces. Hi there, my name is Reed. I'm the person who made this whole video about Alberta Saskatchewan. Hope you might have learned something. I just wanted to say if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me. Also, the, that this paper is in still in the rough end, although it, conclusions have already been drawn. I can picture some things changing over the next 10 years or so. So if you really have any concerns about what I've talked about in this video, please do let me know. But thank you very much and yeah, have a good one.